bay, it's muddy, so dark bottom warms up faster. It's been cold. I'm not kidding you. You have to work hard today for your fish. Um, but this bay faces southwest, so it faces the sun most of the day. It's been kind of warm all day. We got an outgoing tide. You can see in these little culverts up here and stuff. You can see the water moving out. Plenty of hills coming up on the other end of this big branch. Which, where's this honey hole you said? There's a big creek that comes out up here. Not this point, but the next. It's got a little hollowed out spot. And again, it's mud bottoms a little deeper, so it's going to be a few degrees warmer. Okay. And when the fall inside is bait falling out of the creek, how these mosquito dishes. So all we're doing right now is just waiting for the tide to turn around. Because I guarantee you, as soon as, as, soon as these fish, um, as soon as the, you know, as the tide starts moving again, these fish will stick their nose into the tide. And, stick their nares, their nostrils into the tide and start sniffing out food. We'll catch some fish today. Actually, um, Jake, if you want to get up there with them, throw that jig in there too. And there's a, a submerged stick on the, on the right yeah, side. Yeah, we hooked it yesterday. Nice and easy, nobody stomped. Seen something move back in there? I heard it, I didn't see it. That was a snuggle, wasn't it? Yeah, it sounded like a snuggle. That thing sank way down. It's four or five feet deep there. Is it? Yeah. Three of them come together. Start here in the front, maybe? that a try. One thing that trout love to do, not necessarily, aren't necessarily feeding on the mullet, but the mullet are down in the mud, you know, rooting up all sorts of little algal organisms and other things. And, when they do that, they kick up crabs and shrimp. And it's an example of what scientists call nuclear feeding, believe it or not. So one of the best ways to fish a mullet school for um, trout is not to use anything that looks like a mullet. Better to use what you're using, a shrimp. So you're saying that when they're in those mullet schools, use something that doesn't imitate a mullet at all. Yeah. That snook right there was on that point again. He's outside of the creek mouth that time. I didn't, you, you took it wrong, how I say. <laughs> I didn't know how old they were, so I was trying to find out. A little bit offshore. More than anything. Oh, there's something over there. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Trout. trout. Nice fat trout. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be a Thursday, too. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah Wednesday. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Well, we came out, we gave it a shot tonight, but... Yeah. <laughs> Might be getting some action now. Nice trout. Trout right or big fish? Trout. That's right back over there, Luke. If you're on that side, there should be five of them over there. You need to get some of those trout. Huh. That's how we do it.
All right, nice trout. Right here. You got the D hooker? Yeah. All right, we got a nice seat. Oh, spit it again. Yeah, there you go. Those trout are deeper. I'm going to push this out a little bit. Nice fish there. Whatever that is big. Ooh. Ooh. That's probably the snake's not used to those big trout. That is a big trout for a snake. It's a big trout. Watch the prop back here, man. It's a real nice trout, man. Nice Ooh. job. Thank nice. You. Let's land him and get some shots. Right I don't think I can. Yeah, right there. Right there. Wow, man, that's a studly trout. That a boy. You're the biggest yeah. trout I've ever caught. You <laughs> that's a studly trout, man. Yeah. There's a little break, and I was telling you guys. Yeah, there's, this river is all about subtle little drop-offs, and there's a little swale right here. Look at that. We've been picking this fish up right on the edge. Look at that. Ew. Nice job, man. Thanks, yeah. Terry. No worries. We're going to get another one. Oh, dude, that was sick, right? Oh. Yeah. Nice one. I'm about to turn us right back around. That's a really nice one. That one's fish. got some head on it. Whatever this is, it might be a red I'm going to turn you. That's a red I'm going to get you sideways, too. Just keep them tight. Might be a lady fish, bro. Oh, I know. Hey, that's a red, dude. Cool down. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. We lucked out. I was getting scared there. That's <laughs> definitely a trout, dude. Big, big trout, one. Another yeah. trout. Right? Yeah, another big trout. Whatever it is. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Well, he's fat. <laughs> Not quite as big. Not quite as big. Nice yeah, I'm going to take this one. All right. Got a nice little trout here. I guess this is average here. That's above average. All right, well, we started out this morning early, and uh, at the docks, we ended up having some motor trouble. So ended up getting everything together and came out here this afternoon, and I think that actually might have helped. Terry, you want to tell us a little bit why maybe this afternoon might be better than early, early morning? Sure. Um, believe it or not, it's January 4th, 2011, and it's 75 degrees out, not a breath of wind. It's hardly been like this at all this winter. It's been just cold, cold, no, one big blast of Arctic air after the other. This water's still freezing. Um, when you're fishing in cold weather, you know, in subtropical, subtropical environments like the Southern Indian River Lagoon, it's not a lot of reason to get up at the crack of dawn. Right. The water's just too cold. Nothing's moving. And um, so we got out this afternoon and we, we worked on some, area, some areas where there's dark bottom. Dark bottom holds heat better. We worked bays that were facing the, sun, the west so they, they get the most sunlight all day. Um, you saw that, you know, these blanket of clouds kind of acts like a, a um, well, acts like a blanket. And it's a layer of insulation. And things warmed up and Tide started moving, some warm incoming water from the Gulf Stream came in the inlet onto the flats. Boom, started picking up fish. And you saw that, you know, right when the tide started moving and the, the warmer water moved on here, we caught what a handful of trout, big trout, little trout, lady fish. So it really proved to be correct that, you know, once it heated up and the, the tide started moving, we ended up having some luck. Yeah. So that was an awesome afternoon. I mean, we found the fish were a little deeper. They're a little basin in there, and uh, they were all, if you notice, where you where your cast, they're all facing into the tide. Yeah. And uh, so when the tide started coming in, it brought warm water to it, brings the scent of all this bait to them, and you know, they got to eat. They got they know that it's been cold, and they know it's going to get cold again, so they got to eat. So they, they picked the time this afternoon when it was the warmest, and you guys did a good job working those lures really slowly. We are using, you know, DOA shrimp and um, Cody jigs and... If you didn't let them sit on the bottom and pop them and then all the way back down again, set, you didn't get a hit. Yeah. And we got another warm day coming tomorrow, so I want to stay tuned and see what we can come up with tomorrow. Thanks, Terry.